So what are MEPs for? Well, I'll tell you. MEPs are here to vote, and to vote often and to vote regularly. Sometimes we vote up to 450 times in the space of 80 minutes. Now, I have to confess, hands up, I don't know what's going on half the time. I haven't even read all of the documents. So massive are they? Now, it could be that my fellow MEPs down there are all Albert Einsteins and all absolutely understand what's going on. But I suspect that's not the case. In fact, it's rather like paying monkeys, because what happens is the civil servants draw up the list, and if it's vote number 58 and the piece of paper says vote yes, you vote yes, and if it's number 59 and it says vote no, you vote no. It is an absolute farce. It is a complete sham masquerading as democracy. Okay. In 15 minutes' time, we have to go down to the European Parliament and to fulfil our function as members of the European Parliament, which means we have to vote. So what we're about to do now is with our assistants, who've done a massive amount of reading and work behind the scenes, they are effectively going to tell us what to do. Oh, look how many votes there are. What have you got? Yeah. So, yeah. so there's about... In fact, there's a, now look at that. This, yeah. this, this is a classic example of EU voting. There we have 40 individual different amendments that we're expected to vote for on block. Now I defy any man or woman down in that chamber to understand all those 40 amendments to make a balanced decision. It's just impossible.